Hi guys. As a lot of you know, I just recently, yesterday as a matter of fact, picked up this Walther PPS M2 as my new daily carry pistol um, and did not have a holster for it. Uh, in a stroke of perfect timing, I received my holster today that I had just ordered from Amazon.com. I took a big chance. I ordered from a company I have not dealt with before. I had no, never heard of this company before. The price looked good. The product pictures on Amazon looked good, so I figured I would give them a shot. Uh, the company is Fierce Defender Holsters. And they are, it says made in USA, and the shipping address was from Lexington, Kentucky, so I assume that's where they're located and that's where this was manufactured. Uh, I carry appendix inside waistband. And uh, I just noticed one minor thing on here. Uh, here is the holster. It's your basic, typical Kydex holster. If you've never bought uh, Kydex holsters, 36 bucks was the price on this one. That included free shipping. I'm not an Amazon Prime member. I did buy this with my own money. This was not sent to me for evaluation. Uh, I spent my own money on this, and I'm going to give you a complete, like I always do, 100% honest review of the product. Uh, this is made out of 0.08 Kydex, which the better Kydex holsters genuine, generally are made out of 0.08 Kydex. Uh, I'll tell you what I like about this thing. Craftsmanship is really nice. The edges are smooth. What I just noticed a second ago, there was a little bit of a shaving left on the bottom, which I hadn't seen before, but very, very minor. And it stood smooth. There was just a little piece of the Kydex had peeled off and adhered to the uh, holster. Okay, getting back to what I like about this, uh, some of the basic cheap Kydex holsters will have a rivet or two rivets through the Kydex to hold it together. The better ones will have a retention screw. Check, this has a retention screw. It's a little tight from the factory that most of them come that way. Over time it will wear a little and become a little looser and if if I decide that it's too tight, I can always loosen it with the retention screw, which is a great point. Um, the belt clip is adjustable 15 degrees. The cant is adjustable 15 degrees, which is nice. Uh, usually I find straight up and down like that works for me just fine. The one drawback, I don't. the one thing I don't like about this, the belt clip is plastic, not metal. I prefer the very thin metal plastic that you'll find on the uh, on the better quality uh, Kydex holsters. They will have a very thin metal clip. This one's plastic. It's a little thick, but it's very heavy duty. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to break. Very, very minor dislike on that. I like the way the clip is set up where your belt is not going to come out from under there once it goes in and it's very easy to get your belt under the clip to begin with. Um, it has a full sweat shield, which is nice. Uh, it performs two functions. It keeps you from sweating and corroding the firearm, which is not pleasant. It keeps the uh, firearm from rubbing against your body which also. And another thing that some of the ones that are cut straight across here and don't have the sweat shield, when you're reholstering, even if you're careful, if you have a little bit of a belly, which I am guilty of, uh, you can pinch yourself, and that's not pleasant. Uh, let me. I, I, I actually kind of like this. Normally, I don't like embellishment on holsters, but it says FD right here for Fierce Defender. I think it looks pretty nice. So let's check it out with the firearm in place. Very, very audible click. Clicks nicely in there. Full sweat shield. Uh, a couple of points that I really like about this. I'm going to point the gun at you. It's not loaded and it wouldn't shoot you if it was. I don't know if you can see down the sight channel here, but they did what a lot of the bigger holster companies do. They actually have an exaggeratedly large sight channel, so aftermarket sights will fit in here perfectly. You, it, 
it's you know really not a good thing if you add aftermarket sights and then your holster doesn't work. They give you plenty of room in there for any sight you could ever want to put on there. That's awesome. Another thing I really like about this, I like the way it cuts off flush with the end of the gun here. Uh, a lot of holster manufacturers will have a ridge that folds over the end of the gun, which if it's not too exaggerated, it's, it's not that bad of a thing, but I prefer the flush cut here because you don't get lint building up in here. Uh, Kydex holsters won't scratch the finish of your gun, but if you get lint or sand or any foreign material in between the holster and the gun, yes, it will put a scratch on the finish of your gun. And um, eventually you're going to get a little holster wear if you holster a gun every day, but there's no use in you know, making it worse than it has to be. Um, to sum it up, I'm happier than a puppy with two Peters. For 36 bucks, this is a really, really nice holster, and it compares very favorably to a lot of the holsters that are 60, 70, 80 bucks. So you cannot go wrong with this. I'm not going to put a link to this, as I've said in some other videos, because YouTube is getting really hinky about links with anything related to firearms. But if you want to look this up, it's the Fierce Defender Kydex holster. They call it the Winter Warrior series. And I have no relation with the company. I'm not getting money for this. They didn't send me the product. Bought it with my own money. I highly recommend this. This is awesome. It um, The retention is very strong right now. I may loosen it a little bit. I have tried it on the belt. It fits easily. You have to give a fairly a stout tug to, to get it from the holster when it's on the belt. But uh, retention is awesome. That's not going anywhere. Two thumbs up, or two Peters. Mm -hmm.